told him when he saw Naaman go up over the hill, Man. greed came on him. And he took out at the commanding chief of the Syrian host. And when he called up with him up over the hill, listen carefully, saints. The man, Naaman, jumped off his chariot and met him part of the way and says, All is well. He said, All is well. The devil formed a lie in his mouth and said, my master have prophets from the school of prophets that come and they, want, they, they needed some garments and they needed some silk. And the Bible said he packed up some of his servants and they walked back with Gehazi to the house. And this is for those who have been sleeping in the back door and jumping out one Come on, somebody. You got your attitude when the husband comes home. I'm putting it out there because he was all here to preach. Found out somebody's funny, amen. See, I ain't got to be there for the spirit to be there. Amen. You trying to get slick and slide and you trying to wreck it. Amen. Your deeds will catch up with you. Amen. You don't think they will. Come on, somebody. They will. The Bible said that this man went back and, and when he came back and hid the garment in the house, he told the man to go ahead on. He didn't think that Elosh knew what happened. It's amazing how folks think they can pull the rule over God. It's amazing how they think they can pull it with God. And think they can get away with this and get away with that. And think they can live here on earth. And the day they committed all these sins and all this murder and all this trouble and all the problems they created on earth, think that they will stand before God one day and not give an account. Amen. Amen. Every man, woman, boy, child, and girl will stand before God. That's right. Amen. Amen. God, this is Pastor Watkins from Community Revival and Outreach Ministries. I trust that you enjoyed that wonderful service we just uh, had, and I trust the Lord that it touched your heart and your spirit, and it also inspired your soul. But beyond just listening to a message, we also ask you to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. And how you do that, you just simply ask and bow before Christ. And if you're willing to lay hands upon your TV or bow your heads right where you are or sitting, if you just bow here with me and we'll pray the prayer of faith. Heavenly Father, we truly thank you for all things in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that you forgive us of all our sins and have mercy upon our soul, and that not only you save us, O Lord, from our sins, but, O Lord, that you would sanctify our hearts and sanctify our souls, as well as, O Lord, baptize us with the Holy Ghost and that with fire. We accept you, O Lord, into our hearts and our life. We confess our sins and we believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead. And by believing and accepting this, O Lord, we claim to be saved in his holy name. We give thanks and praise for all things. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I trust the Lord that your heart is fixed with the Lord and that your blessing will be assured and that you'll come out and fellowship with us. And if not with us, your, your own local church in your area and that God will be a blessing to you until we see you again. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.